we about to react to IGN re reviewing 2K24. Usually I watch these when they drop it, but I haven't this year, so I might as well just go ahead and do, you know, might as well, might as well, might as well. For the rights to Kobe Bryant, change the face. NBA 2K24 is like a frustratingly talented superstar who falls short of delivering championships season after season. That's a bar. That is a fact. That is a fact, bro. Like, like they was on a generational run with 15, 16, and 17. 19, 19 was pretty good. But, bro, oh, my gosh. The excellent on-court gameplay bolsters significant depth with its dedication to looking, sounding, and feeling like a genuine NBA experience, but it's sidelined yeah. by heinous microtransactions that plague many of the most popular game modes. Oh. These Hang on. I'm sorry. I need to really, really complain about the microtransactions. Bro, it is so nasty how they do the microtransactions, bro. Like, not only do you have to pay to make your character, but then they added rebirth to where, like, now oh, if you remake a character, you get all your badges at silver. And then, on top of that, you get... You also get, um... Uh, 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 yeah, you can go to 90 overall, so then guess what? That means when you remake a character, you have an incentive to spend even more VC, more money to get more VC to then put into your character to get in the 90. Like, bro, like, that is so crazy. And and that's just one part of it. My team is a whole nother ball game. And then they took out the auction house and put in the player market. And have discounts to where you can buy all the players. So you can literally be dropping money just to buy the players off the play. It, and now you can buy MT. Oh, it's nasty. Oh, it's nasty, bro. I, I can't imagine all my brothers that I went broke making, <laughs> making players. In-game purchases aren't just present and optional. They are essential to compete with other players online. Exactly. It's especially frustrating because my career, the focal point of many changes to this year's iteration, has so much potential. But if it truly aimed to emulate the beauty of pro basketball, it would reward skill and... Is John Collins at point guard? Who's playing? Truly aimed to emulate the beauty of... Oh, they ran a play. I was about to say. Pro basketball, it would reward skill and effort more than open wallet shortcuts. He's spitting right now. I ain't gonna lie. He talking his talk right now. I ain't gonna lie. He's spitting. Not gonna lie. He's spitting. Despite being a little short on flashy new mechanics to boast about on the back of the box, NBA 2K24 still looks fantastic, and its on-court gameplay is incrementally. 2K always is good. The graphics is always fire. That's never a problem. The new Pro Play feature, which allows 2K to take NBA footage and translate it into in-game animations in real time. That's pretty fire. But some of them kind of suck, though. Most of them suck. They take too long. Than its predecessors when it comes to movement on the court. It takes too long for them to like get it all, get that off. There are fewer immersion breaking interactions oh and things feel generally more authentic. Improvement taking a giant step. When playing against teams with superstar talent in NBA 2K, players like LeBron James look and play like their real life counterparts. Oh, here's James. Here's the drop. Thanks. The AI has also taken a small step forward, making gameplay more challenging even for series veterans. The ball consistently finds the best Hall of Fame a different level on here, bro. Improved animations heighten the playing experience too. On offense, classic strategies like the pick and roll are harder to execute. Off-ball defenders no, it's have not. become smarter, adjusting no, they have to it. opponents' strengths and weaknesses. No, they have it. That's not a fact. They the have it. The adrenaline boost feature preventing aimless dribbling now penalizes players when their movement is disrupted, making defense a much more interactive experience. Not all of the on-court gameplay has taken a significant step forward, however. Fast talk to me. gameplay is still almost entirely non-existent. Yeah, oh, facts, bro. Oh, my gosh. For over a decade now. Here's Alan. 
like like whoa also one of the most fun elements of real life basketball so its absence just generally makes good defense less exciting because it Facts. rarely turns into points exactly there are also occasional mind-boggling decisions from the ai such as calling erroneous timeouts late in games <laughs> you think the commentary would call out things like that but it's otherwise regularly very good especially when playing games in the various eras of the NBA and the ever-present halftime crew of Shaq, Ernie, and Kenny deliver stellar performances. Naturally, it's missing Charles Barkley, who insists he will never be in an NBA 2K game, but the chemistry is still very strong nonetheless. No surprise, Steph Curry was in fine form during that first half. While he's in the zone shooting it, every time he puts up the three, he believes it's going in. Trust me, that's a great feeling. There are some disappointments. We all skipped that time anyway, so I mean. For instance, players rarely celebrate big moments such as game-winning shots in a convincing way. That's a fact, bro. That in is fact, so like go from that's so lifeless. In one shot to yeah. Deadpan the next. Something that only really comes across because of how realistic they look. Yeah. NBA 2K24 it's so nasty the way they do that. Creating tense when the championship don't fit the same no more. Rarely delivers a reward for them. Wide open, he fires. Knocks down the three. <laughs> Having the arena, including the fans, players, and coaches, properly react to big plays would go a long way in matching the NBA's famous ability Facts. to create historic moments. NBA 2K24's advancements are overshadowed by its most popular game mode, My Career, which heavily encourages in-game purchases. <laughs> My Even Currency. <laughs> they funny for 25th that. 25th Anniversary Editions, which come with 100,000 virtual currency right away, it's nowhere near enough. elevating your created player to a respectable rating is challenging. Yeah. Progressing further requires significant He's spitting time, right now, I ain't gonna lie. often have to neglect the customizable features of the Literally, because you're getting taxed. Square, animations, or other personalized elements. Even with a lot of How? wear and often have to neglect the customizable feature. Eight bands. That's seven dollar. Wait, wait. My fault. You shouldn't even have to pay money to even. You should feel confident to get a book bag. <laughs> you should, you should feel confident in getting a book bag, like bro, like come on, like I should be able to buy me a book bag of 2K. Why am I getting taxed about book? Even the black and white, the basic book bags, they be taxing, bro. And don't even. Pictures of my career, such as dress wear. I'm sorry, I gotta say, it. don't even get me started on the t-shirts, bro. I just be and, and the short shorts, like I just be wearing some simple short shorts. But no, I gotta pay like 15 racks, like 15,000 VC for some. For some short shorts, my G. Like, are we serious? 15 racks? This coming from somebody who played back in 2K16. That was my first 2K. And I remember I I could easily, I had a wardrobe of stuff, like a bunch of stuff on there. And at that time, 2K16, I was in middle school. I ain't had the money to be buying and and doing all this extra stuff to buy VC and all this other stuff. But on that game, it was affordable. I could play a few my career games and get me some VC to get my character looking nice. On here, bro, I got to pay that. A bag. They, 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 they must think that we make our NBA player salary, but we don't. Animations or other personalized elements. Even with a lot of effort, players who grind out VC will regularly be the lowest rated character on the court for a while. My career positions you as an emerging starter in the NBA, yep. frequently pitting you against players with vastly superior ratings. Yep. As a result, Spike. your character is thrust into an environment where he'll be guarding players with a major attribute difference, making playing good defense or offense impossible. virtually impossible. Effectively, the only way to play here is to pay, and that's just offensive. For it's especially real. absurd when you consider that most players will likely purchase the regular edition of NBA 2K24, and they will be rewarded with a created player that starts with a paltry 60 overall rating. <laughs> because of the systems at play, 
Losing regularly nets you next to no nothing. VC. Nothing. It establishes a maddening cycle of not having a player good enough to compete without hope of ever being able to improve them. NBA 2K24 wants you to open up your wallet and punishes you if you don't. There is that is crazy. Of this being an intentional cycle too. You can't Badge get none of your badges if you suck. That helps differentiate players from one another within specific contexts can now deteriorate when they aren't actively being put to use. For example, if you are working on a badge that improves long-range shooting ability but come across a matchup that dictates less three-point shooting and more driving to the basket, you now risk that badge progression by altering your game plan. And look, I was... I ain't gonna lie to you. I was one of the people. I was like, okay, let's see how it is before we crap on it. I'm not gonna lie like that. It, it's stupid. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's dumb. Like, if we have our badges, just give us our badges, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, just give us our badges. Let us keep our badges, bro. Why do we have to do it to lessen it? And then on top of that, the worst part about it is, is that for a minute, limitless range didn't even work. Even if you had it in, like, gold, it didn't work. And then it was even more broken because if you had your sharp takeover, you could shoot from dang near half court with no limitless range at all. Like, as long as you had, like, a cool three-point range, you could shoot that. It was stupid, bro. Like, I don't understand. So now you're getting penalized. Somebody who worked all that time to get gold limitless range, it doesn't even work. Like, so now when you do fix it, now they have to re-get the bat. Nasty work. Not only does this dampen the enjoyment of being creative, it encourages maxing out your stats as quickly as possible so you don't have to deal with bad matchups in the first place. If you give him any room to breathe, he's a bucket. It's worth noting that it doesn't have to be this much of a drag either. My career comes with a location change this year, an open world Miami inspired beachfront to roam around in. It's, me. it's more dense than the previous city with just about every turn having a storefront, a court to play on, or something to interact with. There's a variety of court and game types, all of which would be a lot more fun if the matchups weren't so frequently lopsided. Similarly, there are a ton of fun fashion items to purchase, but they are locked behind massive VC paywalls, especially oh my lopsided. God. Similarly, there are a ton of fun fashion items to purchase. Ten bands for a construction hat is cool. Bro. That, that's five dollars oh my or, or ten my career games oh my gosh oh my god that is oh my god just but they are locked behind massive vc paywalls especially in the early stages of nba 2k24 players face a dilemma make their character look stylish or make moderate advancement on the court what can I say? Like, like a, a good, good neighbor, neighbor State Farm is there. This, this is what they doing with y'all money, bro. Well, our money, I'm sorry. I, I say y'all like I'm not part of the problem. Like, like, bro, like, like, what do you mean like a good neighbor, State Farm? Like, bro, that, why is that what we worried about, bro? Like, 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 make our game better, bro. How about like a good neighbor, we make the game better? How about that? Like a good neighbor, we care about our customers. <laughs> My gosh, bro. What are we what are we talk what are we what are we talking about right now, bro? This is what they're doing with our money. While NBA 2K24 lacks a robust story mode, it offers several interconnected stories involving the player nicknamed MP. These stories aren't particularly engaging, especially... Which is the most ass name ever, MP. Y'all niggas ran out of so many ideas. Focus, focus, focus. Come on, focus. There we go, all right. You niggas ran out of so many ideas for a name that you just named him MP, which is short for my player. MP? Are y'all are y'all serious? MP. MP. That's what y'all thought of. Y'all had a boarding room full of people to come up with a name for our player. 
and y'all came up with MP. Honestly, I shouldn't be as disappointed as I am because, listen, even though 2K16 was amazing, right? 2K16 is, is my go. That's my 2K go, right? I'm going to say right now, like right now, Frequency Vibrations is the nastiest shit y'all could have ever came up with. I Whoever thought of that name. Giving MP's low initial rating. Comparisons of MP to legends like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant only exacerbate the frustrations associated with the grind heavy nature of my career. Shout out Kobe, man. Rest in peace to Kobe and everybody who passed away in that crash. NBA 2K23's man. Jordan Challenge. NBA 2K24 introduces Mamba Moments I haven't played to celebrate the Mamba Kobe yet. Bryant's historic career. It's not as impressive as the Jordan challenges, but it still does a decent job of getting into the tone and atmosphere of some of Kobe's marquee Get games. That little bit of rest. It's so important to have the energy in the fourth quarter. And that starts with returning to an era where guys like Vladi Divox and Chris Webber were key players in the NBA is a treat especially for those of us who were first exposed to basketball around that time. Similarly, my NBA has also added a LeBron era to play in, which allows you to control the 2011 Big Three Miami Heat. My NBA allows for a ton of customization, like which teams are able to get the number one pick in the NBA draft, as well as a variety of nuances related to the salary cap. While there aren't major changes to my NBA, it remains the best place to sink time if you're looking for a safe haven from the microtransactions. Nah, that's a fact. The new my NBA the drives be going crazy. It serves as a nice place to set up shop for a less intense franchise mode with fewer complications. Before he says rating, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give 2K24. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got to separate it up. Just gameplay-wise, probably like a six and a half, a seven. All right, probably really a six, a six. I give it a six. Now, all around, including the microtransactions and everything, this shit is a fucking four or a three. A lot of, like, the microtransactions this year is, is so egregious. It's not even funny, bro. Like, it's so nasty, like... It's not even like slick, like it, it's just blatant, bro. Like it's so disgusting. The old adage, a tale of two halves, really encapsulates the NBA 2K24 experience. On one hand, the hardcore experience is as good as it ever has been, as we should demand from a game that iterates annually, and there are a handful of game modes that allow all of that to be enjoyed without interruption. On the other, much more nefarious hand, my career is nearly unplayable unless you open your wallet or endure an absurd grind. Even worse, mechanics like badge regression reinforce the worst parts of the microtransaction scheme. <laughs> Beneath those issues, and that's why they did it. NBA 2K24 still offers a fun basketball experience, but it requires looking in the right places. Clearly, there is a lot of love for the game of basketball on display in modes like My NBA and Mamba Moments, but a lot of that love is lost. The I ain't gonna lie. If that's a two out of ten, <laughs> hey, these niggas got a two. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. The the fun part would be using the NBA players now. Like the my career don't even be fun no more. Like, that used to be the funniest thing, but not not anymore. Am I the wow? The hand the thing on my the arm on my chair just fell off but that that used to be the funnest part but using the nba players is, is way more fun now than actually playing my career or anything online like moment we're asked to pay an absurd amount of money to compete in the yeah, main multiplayer okay. mode for more check out our reviews of madden nf all right uh you know like comment subscribe um would appreciate everybody else's thoughts on 2k um yeah like this this game is just like just been miss after miss after miss and, and i'm gonna keep it 100 with you um 2k20 was not that good 
A lot of people need to stop with that. Okay, I might catch some flack for that. That's fine. 2K20 was not that good. Everybody was locked in the house, and it was just something to do. And it ended up ascending on people's rankings for 2K games. But I'm telling you right now, if you were to play 2K20 right now, you would only be doing it for nostalgia. You wouldn't be doing it because the game is actually good. You would actually realize that the game is actually is actually like the definition of me. But um, yeah, 2K21 next gen. I had fun with next gen, but it was still mid though. Like 2K21, like current gen or previous gen was. Bro, that that game was so terrible in the previous gen, bro. They could have just kept it honestly. They could have just pushed it back honestly. 2K22 is forgettable. 2K23 is forgettable. Like. They just, they just been missing. They just been missing, bro. Like, I, I don't know, man. I, I wish EA and NBA Live would get it together and have some competition for them, bro. Because, like, bro, like, 2K is just nasty with it, bro. Like, true true microtransaction villains. Like, I know there's other games with microtransactions and all that stuff in it, bro. But they're truly nasty with it, bro. I like they're the nastiest with it. I don't care. I I I really don't care, bro. But all right, in the video there, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, it's been Billy Boys.